Soccer, indoor style. The one official will be working the entire field, as it were, and the dimensions are similar to the hockey dimensions. And the other official will be seated in the penalty box. The only difference, really, as far as penalties, is that they do have a penalty box in professional indoor soccer, which they do not in outdoor. But the infractions are pretty much the same, and as Rudy mentioned at the outset, you'll see an awful lot of shots on goal. They have as many as 100 shots on goal. To initiate action, the visiting team will take a direct kick at midfield to start things off, and then to start the second quarter, the home team. Visiting team starts it in the first and third, and the home in the second and fourth. This really has been a realization of a dream by Ben Alexander, the director and owner of the Philadelphia Fever, who has wanted a professional sports team for years. And now he has the Fever, and we're in action. Number 22 for Cincinnati is Doc Lawson. Number seven, Tony Graham, and number 12 is Keith Tozer. And we have a penalty right off the bat. Penalty was called on Rudy, it appears, Doc Lawson. Doc Lawson, right, all right. Resulting in Philadelphia Fever getting a direct kick. Right out in front, shot is blocked. That shot by Joe Fink. Good save by Van Aaron. Cincinnati kids. Joe Fink now at the other end. Positions are defender, midfielder, and forward, although they're really kind of ludicrous because they will be playing all over the field, as you will see. Harry, that was an obstruction call on Doc Lawson. Number four is John Smiley for Cincinnati. They'll use the walls to play it off. Number 12 is Keith Tozer. Woody Harpin in goal for the Philadelphia Fever. 11 for the Fever is Paul Nasser, clever dribbler. Nasser to fake and Fink. Again, a good block by Van Aaron. Two good shots by Joe Fink, who just signed with the Fever today. That's the goalkeeper for Cincinnati kids, Keith Van Aaron, out of Brooklyn, an All-American at Hartwig College. Fink trying to keep it in the zone and does. Number five for Cincinnati is Gene Geimer and Van Aaron, the goalkeeper. Cincinnati starts it out with John Smiley. You'll find Smiley a very aggressive ball player. Typical in the Scottish fashion. Smiley to Doc Lawson. Lawson's carom shot. Another shot. Good a good save. block, Hartman. And Philadelphia tries to clear it off. Good save by Woody Hartman. Played his collegiate soccer at Temple. Cincinnati keeps it in. Number 12 is Keith Tozer. Tozer boots it into the seats, which will result in a corner kick for Philadelphia. Dribble by Lawson, shot off the boards, shot on goal, saved by Woody Hartman. Good save, the shot by Tony Graham. And I guess Rudy will find that they'll use the boards as for specifically that purpose, to set up a teammate with a carom. This excellent control displayed by Eddie Sheridan. Ed Sheridan, number two for the Fever. 14 is Joe Fink. Joey Fink, last of the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Nothing, nothing. 12.06 to play in the first period. Four periods of 15 minutes apiece. Number eight is Cliff Simmons. Slim is just a youngster and a good player. Tried to get it in. Nice defensive work there. It looks like Mark Post at number eight. There Shot on goal by Clifford Simmons. Clear. Beautiful shot. Shot by Nasser. Partially blocked. That's Paul Nasser. Nasser clever. And it'll 
be a tripping foul apparently on Simmons. Nothing, nothing, 11.22 to play first period. Number five for Cincinnati, Gene Geimer. Geimer, good block by number four, Joe Harvey for Philadelphia. There's Fink. Fink's pass is intercepted by Poston. Number 14 for Cincinnati, John Zakis. And clearing it out and starting action is Van Aaron, the goalkeeper for Cincinnati. Out in front. Good work by Sheridan. Woody Hartman gets out of the goal, which you can do. You can get out of that rectangle as long as you do not touch it with your hands. Gurov, number 13, into the lineup for the Philadelphia Fever, and also in number 10, George Lesson. Eight is Poston. Poston, good, good pass. Save by Woody Hart. And Philadelphia comes up the other end. 10 11 to play, first period. Nothing, nothing. 13. Bergura. A shot by Nasser Block and picked up by Van Aaron. Generally, Rudy will find up to 20 goals scored in a game by the two teams. Nothing so far. Good defense, tentative play, what? Good defense. I think they're feeling each other out, Harry. Uh, what I can uh, observe from the game that Cincinnati played in New York, Cincinnati has taken advantage of fast breaks. Good defense there by the Cincinnati players. Well, we'll have a penalty here. It'll go on Paul Nasser, resulting in a direct free kick. Here it is. Poston has the ball for Cincinnati, and there's Nasser kind of giving a little extra shove, necessitating the penalty. Most penalties result in kicks like that, either direct or indirect. The only difference really is that on a direct kick, you can kick it right into the goal for a score, and you can't on an indirect. Woody Hartman. Poston, who's been all over the field so far for Cincinnati. Nice defensive work by Sheridan. Poston gets it back, but Sheridan continues to harass. Eddie Sheridan from Philadelphia Textile. That was on goal, but not a sharply kicked ball. It was saved by Hartman. 13 is Rigura. Every shot. Oh, it hit the post. Good shot by Rigura. Rigura will come in, fake to the left, take a shot, just missed the corner of the net. Just recently signing quite a player. He comes from Yugoslavia. Remember him, Fred Rigura. I'll try to remember him. I can't forget him because his name is tough to remember. <laughs> Good chance there, but number seven, Bobby Ludwig. 21 intentionally, that's Ed Blaney, intentionally kicked it, I guess, to Woody Hartman. He was the lone defender, and he wanted to get it to the goalkeeper and get it out of there. 740 remaining first period, nothing, nothing. Action continues, and players keep going on and off the field. Rudy, how long do you stay in one shift? How long do you stay out of the field? At the pace these players are playing, two minutes is maximum. It's the maximum that they can play at full court. For our audience, they have to observe that players are changing on the run, quite different from outdoor soccer. Beaver trying to get it out. First ever professional indoor soccer league. And the teams involved, the Fever in Cincinnati tonight. Boy, Van Aaron went way out. Dangerous, but Cincinnati defenders cover up for it. How quickly it turns into an attack, Harry. Beautiful over the head cut. Woody Harpin. Regurev. And number 10 for the Fever is George Lessev. 
Beavers setting it up. Bless it along the far side. Being hawked by Mario Oliva. Cincinnati's a talk attack halted by Eddie Sheridan. Sheridan takes the kick and it goes high and over the goal. So that'll result in goalkeeper Keith Van Aaron putting it in play. Harry, you'll see that when an when a defender takes an attack on goal such as Eddie Sheridan did, that's the makings of a complete ball player. One who can defend an attack. And that's so very important in this game. Five for the fever is that Blaney. Blaney. Blaney shot. Rebound good. Philadelphia leads one to nothing. And getting the care of look like Cliff Simmons. There were now one to eight. That was Simmons. Well, oh, that was Alves. We have 